Uh, we've moved to the other side of the booth and we are here with Ian Candelini and he's going to talk to us a little bit about the A61NX and Ian, what, what can you tell us about this machine? The machine is a 5-axis horizontal. Uh, a lot of features dedicated in this case for uh, structural aerospace components such as this. And there's a couple of things when we want to make a part like this. We want to obviously rough it and finish it as quickly as possible because the name of the game is production. So for this part, we use, utilize a few things from the machine. For the roughing, we want rigidity, which the machine has. We also want very high metal removal rates. So to get that, we have a 24,000 RPM spindle, 80 kilowatts, 107 horsepower, and it's great. However, you need a rigid structure because you want to use all that horsepower, okay. and we can do that. For finishing the part, we want this. In this case, it's a simultaneous five-axis part, a lot of motion, uh, and we need to be able to accelerate and decelerate our rotary axes quickly. And we can do that. We have uh, two direct drive rotary tables. The B and the C are direct drive, uh, very high acceleration, and they're both liquid cooled. Entire, in fact, the entire machine is liquid cooled for stability, uh, and that gives us. Accurate parts, we can get them off fast, they're repeatable, and I don't know what else you could possibly want from a machine tool. Just out of curiosity, like how long would it take to, to produce this? This part on this machine is just under 10 minutes, 9.8 minutes. So 9 minutes, 47 seconds-ish, okay. something like that. Oh, that's impressive. It's really, really uh, getting rid of some material. And, and how big is the... Uh, Call the blank or the, the, the raw stock is the raw stock the billet is uh, similarly sized to this part you've got about a few inches on each side it's a rectangular billet for bolting uh, and the part is cut out uh, and tab it's tab cut and we break off the tabs at the end you want to talk about the control sure it's uh, it's got Makino's Pro 5 control on it lots of nice features uh, this machine specifically is automated with a pallet pool and the pallet pool allows us to do things like we can run overnight, um, we can do, do with um, a lot of high volume jobs, high mix is okay, and the control has a lot of features that allows us to utilize that pallet pool. So we've got things like um, really advanced redundant tool capabilities, uh, tool checking, we can augment that with um, tool measurement inside the work zone, outside the work zone, wherever you want it, we can put it there. And, uh, so that, that, that means you, you, never, you wouldn't have to take it off to, to, to check it? Not at all. This machine is also equipped with a matrix magazine in the back. It has its own dedicated tool load station. So in, in reality, the machine can cut, and it never, the spindle never has to actually stop for you to load tools into the magazine, switch out redundant tools. Uh, it's really a nice system. Can, can we take a look at uh, some cutting? We absolutely can. Right. We're ready to go. All I have to do is hit the magic buttons. Let it go. That's this part right here. So in this case, we get to utilize all of those 107 horsepower. If you see on the screen, our spindle load will peak at around 100 and sometimes 110%, so we're even exceeding our, uh, our nominal capacity. But it allows us to chew through this really quickly, which is the name of the game. And reporting from the Aquino booth, uh, thank you for the demonstration, Ian. I appreciate it. Good luck with the rest of the show. Thank you very much.